Hey guys, welcome back to our living in the USA. We're doing another campground review for you. This week we are in Arley, Alabama at Thousand Trails Hidden Cove RV Resort located on beautiful Smith Lake. Uh, we're gonna do like we always do. We're gonna do a drive around the park, show you all the sites, the roads through and out, uh, all the amenities they have, and then stick around to the very end. We're gonna do a wrap up uh, tell you about things to do in the park and in the area and what we think. If you have any questions, be certain to leave them down in the bottom in the comments and we'll get them answered for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to our drive through for Thousand Trails Hidden Cove located in Arley, Alabama. As you come down the road to the park, you'll come up to the ranger station, just stop at the stop sign, you'll get your information packet at check-in. They'll give you a gate code that will allow you to access to the park for security reasons. Now we're gonna show you the B-Loop first. Uh, when you come over to the right, they have a really nice playground. I uh, love the old metal slide, reminded me when I was a kid where we could slide down it when it was 100 million degrees um, and get burnt. But anyways, I thought that was ironic to have that. Coming down to the observation area, they have low branches. Don't worry about that. You don't bring no RVs down here. This is only for vehicles. Uh, if you're gonna paddleboard or kayak, this is where I would recommend putting them in. They have a small parking area, but you can park there and then put your paddle boards in. Um, that lake is beautiful for being able to paddleboard, kayak, or canoe. They have cliffs kids can jump off of into the water. The water was very pretty. Great temperature while we were here in late September. Beautiful area just to go out on the lake if you want to bring a boat. Uh, you can go fishing or skiing or, you know, tubing or anything you want to do as well on the lake. We simply chose to do a little bit of paddle boarding and just sightseeing on the water and I had a wonderful time. I really enjoyed it. Now, as we continue back up the road that we came in on, this will bring us right back out where we came in, right at the playground. Uh, when you get up here to the playground, right next to the playground, they also have a very nice putt-putt golf uh, that is very well maintained. Um, the greens are very nice and puttable, so that's something you don't find a lot of times at these resorts. Uh, putt-putt uh, needs some attention at a lot of places, but this one was very nice. So we're going to continue through the bee loop. Now the lake is backed up over on all these campers to the right hand side. Um, most of these are full timers, but they did have some transients in here as well. So um, if you find a spot over here, you're more than welcome to get in there. You just pick your site and then let the ranger know which site you went into and they'll assign that site to you. So. Um, as you come around the B loop right at the end of it, that is where the road is down to the boat dock. Uh, if you have a boat, you want to bring it here, you can launch here. They have a nice area inside the building that you can do a little fishing, I guess, in the winter time. They have a lot of boat slips. Uh, so if you do have your boat, you can launch, tie your boat up and simply enjoy the day. Um, as we continue from there, uh, this will bring you up this road and this is one of the bathhouses. Uh, they call it bathhouse one. Uh, they have a laundry room here and as well. Uh, all the laundromats here use the app. They are 225 a piece to use for washer and dryer. Now we're gonna continue across here to the left there is where we came in. So if you had turned left, you would have came this way. But this brings you over to the sea loop. Uh, we'll bring you down this area first. Uh, these spots, like I said, these are all available for transient our campers and I believe this section here is more the 30 amp uh, if I remember correctly uh, it was a little narrow getting in here so uh, we didn't even come into this section um, but straight ahead is where the clubhouse is we'll show you from another road coming in but this just basically comes all the way down circles around this is one of the fields that we'll tell you about uh, if you want to let the your dogs run and play just a little bit and stretch your legs. They have a lot of areas in this park with open fields. Now, this is right where we came in. Uh, we'll take a right. This is the sea loop. This is bathhouse number two. We wanted to show that to you. This is the nicest one too. Uh, very nice. And they do have a handicap accessible. 
a restroom and a handicap accessible shower. So uh, if that's something that you're in need of, this park does have it. Now, as we exit that, we want to show you the laundry room. This one has two washers, two dryers, same, and it uses the app and it's 225 as well. So we're going to continue through the park. Uh, this is the see loop if you turn right here this is where we're located all the way down here at the end now the lake is straight ahead of us so it gives you a reference of where we're at um, all these sites here the middle sites on the left are pull-in and the ones on the left are going to be back in we'll come down here uh, that's us right there on the left and then we're going to turn right here this will bring you over to the clubhouse remember a while ago i said the clubhouse was straight ahead um, if you come down this way, they have a pavilion located right here with a grill and some cornhole. And if you turn right right there, it brings you on that other road we just showed you. But we want to show you the clubhouse. Very nice. A lot of areas in here. Play some pool, play some foosball, ping pong. Um, you come into the back half. I'm assuming they could have some banquets in here if they wanted to. Uh, a lot of open area, so plenty of room to do stuff. They have pi pianos in here. Um, nice area to sit down they have a gas fireplace so i'm assuming in the winter time that'd be very nice and then if you come out the back door you can walk down and see the lake there's the boat dock you've seen over there to give you just a little bit of a reference where we are sitting out here just enjoying the lake in the afternoons is nice but we want to continue around we're going to bring you back up to where our camper is and then we're going to bring you around that way um, there's where we just came in uh, this makes a loop comes right back out uh, we want to show you our spot. Uh, we're going to show you the hookups because everybody always asks. They have 30 and 50 at our site. Uh, the sewer hookups, very nice, um, out of the ground. And then they have the uh, water hookups as well. So they do have cable um, set up, but it's not turned on yet. So just check it reservation when you make one and find out if they've got that set up yet or not. Uh, but if you continue down the road, this will bring you all the way back up. And then the pool is actually going to be straight ahead of us. Uh, also, some dumpsters up here for your use. Um, they have a very nice pool. It is not heated, uh, or at least that's what they told us. Um, it was very nice while we were here, but a nice pool. Um, I believe it's about six foot, five and a half foot at the deep end, three foot at the shallow end. Um, plenty of chairs to sit around and it's fenced in for safety. They do not have a handicap accessibility chair at the pool though. Now, as we continue down this road, um, straight ahead of us, there's always deer here in the evening. Uh, we didn't catch them on a drive through but we wanted to show you uh, one night that we caught them there. Uh, they feed them corn, so it's really cool to be able to sit out there and just watch them. Um, kids love this too, so. Uh, we'll continue around. This is where the RV storage is. If you do need to store your RV, they have it available at this park. Uh, then we're gonna come right back up and that'll bring us to the end of our drive through I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Stick around for the wrap-up, and we'll hopefully answer all your questions. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Our Living in the USA. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that tour we gave you all around the park. Uh, we're going to do a wrap-up talk now, hopefully answer a lot of your questions. So. Let's start off with locations. Locations. It's about an hour away from Birmingham, um, 30 minutes from Jasper. Yeah. And that's practically where all the stores are at. So. Yeah, it, pretty much, yeah, everything's a Jasper. You do have um, the little town here in Arley, probably a little over five minutes away from the park. Yeah. Um, they have a Dollar General. <laughs> um, every town has a Dollar General, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's law. Yeah. Uh, you have to have a Dollar General to be a, a city or a town in America. Yeah. Um, but they have a grocery store, too, so they have little whatnot stuff you can get. Nothing major, not yeah. like a Walmart, nothing, but you can get minor stuff. Mm -hmm. um, things to do at the park. Things to do. Got a swimming pool. <laughs> yes. Uh, they do have a boat dock and a marina here. So if you have a boat and you want to come to stay on Smith Lake, um, bring your boat with you. You can dock it right here. We showed you the marina as well. Yeah, because we took the paddle boards out and it's gorgeous out there. Little cliffs and everything. Um, they don't have a dog park here. However, there is tons of open fields, as you've seen when we did the drive around. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of areas for the dogs to run and stretch their legs. So don't yeah. worry about that. Funny. Um, they staff. have, yeah, staff. Um, staff is super nice. Um, zero complaints. Um, I've dealt with the, had to deal with a gentleman when we checked in. He was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then we dealt with another lady. She's kind of like, man, I'm not manages, but goes around the park. Um, Keeps it clean. Yeah, Miss Adams uh, from the 
she always reminds me just remember the Adam family. <laughs> um, so um, she's really nice, super friendly as well. Um, <laughs> the stores in the area. Uh, Which, like you'd already said, the yeah. Dollar General and the uh, one grocery store called Sam's, they got a little bit of everything they said. So, and then about 30 minutes. Wanna, and if, like I said, if you want to bring your boat, <laughs> there you go, right there. Uh, looks like a guy going out, doing a little fishing maybe in a bass boat. So um, definitely a great place for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like Jasper's only 30 minutes away and it has a Walmart and Chevy dealership, Toyota dealerships, everything you can think of. They got it there. Yeah. So, um, things to do in the area. We didn't really explore outside. We were only here for nine days. Um, mm -hmm. We had some issues with our truck, with the battery, so that took precedence. Yeah. Uh, but there are some covered bridges, we're told. Um, some, one gentleman told me there's some cool antique shop right down the road yeah. and um, big flea market. Then it, like everybody else has said, Google, you'll find a lot of stuff to do around the area. Yeah, and it's a, it's, it's a nice quiet park. I like it, no complaints there. Oh, no. Um, as far as being big rig friendly, I'd say 100%, we're oh, 43 yeah. foot. Um, I mean, the roads are super wide, the lots are super big, um, no issues at all. No, definitely go to uh, the newer section they're saying it is. It's called the, uh, the Sea Loop. Loop. Yeah. Is the best area if you got a big rig, I would say. Yeah. Um, now, the amenities at the park, um, they have three bathhouses. Um, two of them have laundry rooms. Um, they take the machine. 225, uh, the, yeah, two, two, 225 wash or dryer. dryer. It's not too um, bad on price. Yeah, so you don't need no coins or nothing. Just have that machine app on your phone, which uh, is great. We mentioned the uh, marina um, for the boat docks and everything. Mm -hmm. If you have jet skis, boats, anything like that there, they have a boat dock. So um, that's going to be considered an amenity. They have the pool. Do you want to throw in there? They do not have a handicapped chair at the pool. No. Now, I'm not really sure if they maybe have a portable one. You'd have to check with the office on that. Um, they do have handicap accessible showers. So that we did check on. Yeah, and then they have the clubhouse. Yeah, the clubhouse has pool table. Everything. Yeah. Um, ping, ping, oh, not ping pong. Yeah, <laughs> ping pong. They have ping pong. They have ping pong table in there. They have foosball. Yeah. Um, they have a piano. Matter of fact, we was doing a video. There's a kid in there playing on the piano. I don't know if you teach yourself. It's pretty good, so. Yeah, and then um, you got the observation deck. Yeah. Where you can go out there and swim in the, the lake, and that's where we put the paddle boards in. Yeah, show you so. that. Um, and then Wi-Fi and cell is last, so Karen, you want to? Wi-Fi, we have Verizon internet, and it seems to be working okay. Yeah. Um, we still do everything we want to do. Um, we and were, now, we were here during the hurricane in Helena. Uh, we were not in a direct path. Um, with the signal, it did, it was our streaming TV was glitching a little bit. I'm not sure, I'm sure everything was going on with the hurricane. So, but other than that, the streaming internet and TV was just fine. Yeah, cell phones. Now we've only had like one or two bars, but we're still able to make phone calls yeah. and get phone calls in. So, I mean, yeah, it's a low service, but it still works good for us. But they do offer Wi-Fi here. Yeah, they so do offer it. Don't um, know anything about it. About but the same price as yeah. every other park. I think it's like, you know, $30 for the month. You know, I think it's like five ninety five for a day, and then like fifteen something for a week. And yeah. I didn't read no further. They're pretty much right, out. right on pace with all the other parks. So yeah, no big deal there if you want to check that. They do have cable TV. I showed you in the video. Um, however, mm -hmm. I've been told it's not hooked up yet. So they have it set up. They just haven't, I guess, uh, initialized yeah. it yet. So. <laughs> Uh, in the future, that will be uh, availability as well. I'm not sure if there will be a cost on that or if that will be included in your site. So yeah. um, just ask about that when you make your reservation. Um, again, we hope you all enjoyed the drive around. Hope you enjoyed the wrap up. Um, hopefully we answered all your questions. If you have any other questions we didn't get answered for you, please leave them in the comment. We want to hear from you guys um, so we can help you all the best we, way we can possibly help you all. So hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have a great week. And until the next time. We'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip-flop.